We're back. Welcome back. back. Yay. Yay. All right, into the shop, I think. That's where yeah. I'd go if I were you. Let's do it. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? That is clearly not an old man. Well, it's their <laughs> voice. I'm the one doing all the voices on this channel. I want to first talk. All right. I want to say, uh... Say hello to I her. want town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the gold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Remember that ghost we saw in the ruins? Hey. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, spook. He was super emo, we made a hat out of tea. Anyway. Your life. Yeah. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but... We all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Freedom's coming, that's good to hear. Yeah. But they're not free? No, remember from the intro? They got yeah, they're trapped underground. The, oh, the humans that's right. forced them underground. The human mage is locked what to do away. here? What do you want to, you want to know what to do here in Snowden? I had a hard time with that because of my dementia. <laughs> Grillpiece has food and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can go sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Probably should have said hello first, but that's fine. Hi, welcome to Snowden. I feel like we should have had this part of the conversation first. <laughs> Where did you come <laughs> from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist, and you're here by yourself? Well, apparently she doesn't know that you're a human. Yes. Um, I so, want to buy some shit. That's a good idea. The tough glove, the manly banana, the bicycle. Bandana? <laughs> In my brain, it's a so, yellow-colored bandana. The the <laughs> the manly bandana is armor. Yes. <laughs> Which I feel like you'd be super into. It has abs on it. It does. Well, what else would you put on a manly, manly bandana? <laughs> I would. Bananas. I, <laughs> apparently, yeah. just bananas. Yeah, bananas. <laughs> if you're missing the innuendo here, I'm not gonna explain it. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, I would recommend getting that. Um, the glove is a weapon that you don't have? really attack. You have 180 down in the bottom corner. Buy it, yes. And Tough then bicycle glove. and you, the you... glove is attack power. It won't. Your attack wait, wait, won't wait. go up. Wait, wait, you have a, a tough glove. Oh, oh I you do? do. Yeah, that's why you have a quick. Also, right you now. don't really attack people anyway, so it's not that important. A um, cinnamon bun. Cinnamon bun and bicycles are healing items. Cinnamon bun heals for 22. Bicycle. And this guy, it's it's a, not like a mount. No, it's not a. <laughs> it's not a. That is the pun. You've got it. Yeah, that's that's correct. It's not a bicycle. It's a bicycle, like an icicle. Like two. Yeah. Yes. Which is why it heals Which twice. Why it says heals eleven times two. Eat it twice. I think it becomes a unicycle. <laughs> like, Fuck this shit. <laughs> I think it becomes a unicycle when you. Hold on. The first Hold one. on. This is. The same thing. Well, yeah, but the difference is, is that the bicycle, if you use it in combat, it only heals you for 11. So you need to use two turns. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, I mean, buy whatever you want. It's your money. Yeah, you got a lot. You can get as many healing items as you need. <laughs> you is that all much? there is? To... Yep, just the four things. Well, she said I can get food somewhere else, so... Yes, she did say that, yeah. She did say that. That is true. Is there anything to sell? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but if I started spending money on old branches and used band-aids, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. <laughs> but do. Um, that is a, a joke. Bye now, come again sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Was that supposed to be the... Yes. <laughs> and in! Look, it's her sister. What is this? It's a little bunny. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health. Above your maximum. Whoa. Yeah, right? 
<laughs> What's that? <laughs> you should do it. I have to give her a Can I sleep on this couch? <laughs> <laughs> if only. Welcome to Snowden. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80 gold. Oh my god, that's a lot. I recommend you do it. Yes, it's probably a good idea. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. <laughs> I like how you sleep face down. Face down. <laughs> Burr. Oh, look at those other sleepy people. Sleepy people. Why don't I have any Z's? Uh, I don't have any Probably because to... they're snoring so loud that you can't get any sleep. Hiya. You look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Well, that, oh, was, that was nice of her. Yeah. Did I... Yeah, you got the, if you go to your menu now, I think. See how it says HP 30 out of 20? Woohoo! Yeah, nice! Right? Totally, nice. totally worth it. You should also probably put that bandana on. Oh, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I've made that mistake in this game before. Oh, you have your manly bandana, or your fucking ice cream still. You equipped the manly bandana. Do you feel manly? I do. Now you took off your old piece of armor, which was just a band-aid. <laughs> just a band-aid. <laughs> Bandage. Yep. You should get info about that. If you... Yeah, then yeah. Then you go to info. Yeah. Bandage heals 10 HP. It has already been used several times. So you can use it, too, just to heal. Oh. Right, right, right. Use the box. Oh, that's... Yeah, it's the storage. All right, let's explore the rest of Snowed In. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Nice. Right? How nice of them. I want to talk to all these. Oh, look at this. You have the little bunny. Yeah. Oh. Is my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bud buns are so adorable. Tee hee. Can you talk to the. They, they get like you for the year. Something about her disturbs me. <laughs> I wonder what. Is it that she is a bunny with a bunny pet? Yeah, that's a little weird. Level teen sermon in the local monster by decorating its tree like horns. Oh, I remember that. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Can okay. I have a present? I don't know. Maybe. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to lo various locals. So I guess not. You wouldn't steal a child's Christmas present. You wouldn't download would you? a car. Yeah. I would, actually. I totally Yo, would. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell, because you're wearing a striped shirt. Oh, he's got stripes on it, yeah. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> stripes indicate childhood in this it's the world. It's time to wear a striped sweater. I'm out of voices. This town doesn't have a mirror, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. So anyway, this is Grillbees. There's a lot of voices here, so you uh, might just want to go into some defaults. <laughs> yep. No matter where I go, it's the same menu with the same people. Help, I want new drinks and <laughs> hot guys. Okay. I didn't know that was a girl. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that this guy's voice is just <laughs> So anyway, next text box. <laughs> 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 You're probably right. That was probably his voice. <laughs> yep. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city liquor slip onto their butt. <laughs> Jukebox. Mm-hmm. It's broken. Mother. <laughs> <laughs> also, these are all the, a, a lot of the things here are the enemies that you yeah, there's, there's the lesser dog and the greater dog and the dude who was smoking dog ah! food. Yeah. <laughs> it just makes a <laughs> face. <laughs> I love greater dog. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. <laughs> His brain is the size of kibble. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I've been out of line for them girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. 
Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. <laughs> wow. Uh, all right. These dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. And now these two. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. We're sentries, but we never get any... Wait. <laughs> this is the same. We just fell in the boat. Okay. Okay. What about the bartender? I am a bonfire. Grilbs said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid. It's amazingly I, stupid. I kind of love it, to be honest. And that's everybody in the bar. <laughs> and there's nothing to do there? Oh. Nope. Just people to talk to. Oh. Everybody's always oh, laughing oh. and cracking jokes, right. trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. But you're really cute. <laughs> he is pretty <laughs> adorable. This guy less so. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? I took that guy's voice to a much more evil place than he was. <laughs> yeah, right? Hey, the lot, lab, lot, lab of Berber. Wait, what did that sign say? Library. Lib Library. Barbie. Libarby. Librarby. Well, that's a bug. Is it? I mean. I mean. He spelled it right earlier when we were talking to the innkeeper. That is true. Anyway. Into the library. Let's go explore the library. 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 Working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill up with comics and games. Maybe that's what our newspapers should do in the real world, right? <coughs> <coughs> when I was younger, my teacher gave me her teachers when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> look at me now. <laughs> I literally just had a cat jump cat. on me. Yes. <laughs> I'm the number one hunter creator in the entire underground! So the books on the wall there have some information if you're so inclined. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When <laughs> monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. And then their essence will live in, live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. <laughs> it was a school report. <laughs> While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical form, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing them thro themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. I don't know what the hell that means. I don't know, maybe we should ask that Dana person from the NRA. Bullet pattern. Oh, maybe. Uh -huh. Jokes. We're topical here on Liquid Dinosaur. <laughs> we don't shy away from the hard topics. <laughs> here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. That was stupid. That it was, was stupid. <laughs> Because they're made of magic, monstrous bodies aren't attuned to their soul. No, they are attuned they to their are, okay. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here. It so basically it, it was telling me to be nice and they'll be nice. Basically. Pretty much, yeah. But if you want to be... Mean. Monster History Part 4! It's all capitals, that's why we're yelling! Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. 
We braved harsh, cold, damp swamplands and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home! <laughs> <laughs> Again, our king is really bad at names. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, king. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature, nature of soul is unknown. <laughs> After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. We can have souls without love, compassion, or happiness. Wow. Evil. That, that was a little, little morose. Mm-hmm. Hey. What is this? I don't know. You shouldn't interact with it. It's a mailbox. It's a mailbox box. overflowing with unread junk mail. And a house. A big fancy house. Yeah. It's a nice looking house. Is this Mama's house? Whose house? Mm-hmm. It's, it's locked. locked. Don't oh. just go walking into people's houses. Can I look in the window? <laughs> um, good, good, maybe. Thought, but no. You may want to consider at this point um, taking that igloo. It's locked from the inside. Or past the igloo, I guess. Well, I mean, I'm just looking igloo. around, Josh. <laughs> yes, Jesus. Fine, fine. Hey, I'm just. Ah! Just trying to help. We did it. Now you We're can back save. Yay. Now that we've talked to everybody and not actually done anything. Well, she bought a bunch of stuff in the shop, and she went to the inn, and she learned a bunch of things. Okay, God! Yeah. God, Jesus! I'm playing the Jesus. game. Jesus. Jesus! 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 Anyway, now you can do whatever the hell you yeah. want. I don't, I don't care anymore. Okay. Go whatever direction. Please. Welcome to Snowden. Yay! I like their, that they have Christmas lights on their sign. <clears throat> it's always Christmas in Snowden. It's always Christmas in Snowden. You can't go into his house. So I can't or, do anything. And, well, there's stuff past. You just leave, yeah. You can go past that igloo. Yeah. What? I had you turn around to save, but you could have kept pressing forward. Yep. Yeah. Right there. Whee! Like that. All the way back. It's just a little shortcut. Yep. And now you can keep pressing that away. Bam! Fuck right off. Oh, do you guys see the ice cube floating in the back? Oh, yeah, there's a little ice cube. And there it is there again. Is again. Hey. Oh, oh, this is getting spoopy. I'm spooked. I, I consider myself too spooked. Too spooked, too serious? Maybe even three spooked. Oh my god, three spooked, five serious? No, Brandon, don't be ridiculous. Oh, Jesus. goodness. Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... Ellipses! (laughs) Ellipses. <laughs> no, Ellipses. No, this is all wrong. I cannot be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. He blocks the way and look at how fabulous he is. Oh my goodness. It is a boss fight. I'm gonna act on Papyrus. Are you gonna check him out, flirt with him, or insult him? What do you mean, check him out? Well, well check. You can just see like what his stats are. Oh, okay. I'm gonna flirt with him. What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate what feelings? Is it? Okay, what's red? It's an important word. <laughs> no, but like blue actions, yellow eyes, red. Oh, yeah. oh, I don't know. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. Now choose what you want to say to him. You can either say I can make spaghetti, or I have no redeeming qualities. Oh no, you're meeting all of my standards. <laughs> I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later after I capture you. You ready to dodge? Dodge what? Well, you're gonna hit a button and then dodge. You nailed yeah. it. Way to He's go. Got some super serious facts. <laughs> the virus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh no! Let's date later, after I capture you. 
Man, you are. You're, you're killing it. You're nailing this fight, Megan. This is really, <laughs> this is some high, high stakes shit right here. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting will escalate this battle. Hmm. Should we figure out how to escalate this battle next time on Three Idiots? I think so. I think next time we'll see if Megan can beat Papyrus. Bum, 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 bum. Bye, everyone.